Hi everyone. HMS Resolution was a 70-gun third-rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy, launched at Harwich Dockyard on 6 December 1667. She was one of only three third-rate vessels designed and built by the noted maritime architect Sir Anthony Dean. Resolution served as the flagship in an expedition against the Barbary Corsairs in 1669. The Barbary Pirates, or Barbary Corsairs or Ottoman Corsairs, were Muslim pirates and privateers who operated from North Africa, based primarily in the ports of Saleh, Rabat, Algiers, Tunis, and Tripoli. This area was known in Europe as the Barbary Coast, in reference to the Berbers. Their predation extended throughout the Mediterranean, south along West Africa's Atlantic seaboard and into the North Atlantic as far north as Iceland, but they primarily operated in the Western Mediterranean. In addition to seizing merchant ships, they engaged in razzias, raids on European coastal towns and villages, mainly in Italy, France, Spain, and Portugal, but also in the British Isles, the Netherlands and Iceland. Long after Europeans had abandoned or driven vessels in favor of sailing ships carrying tons of powerful cannon, many Barbary warships were galleys carrying a hundred or more fighting men armed with cutlasses and small arms. The Barbary navies were not battle fleets. When they sighted a European frigate, they fled. The scope of Corsair activity began to diminish in the latter part of the 17th century, as the more powerful European navies started to compel the Barbary states to make peace and cease attacking their shipping. Between 1801 and 1815, occasional incidents occurred, including two Barbary wars waged by the United States, Sweden and the Kingdom of Sicily against the Barbary states. Following the Napoleonic Wars and the Congress of Vienna in 1814-15, European powers agreed upon the need to suppress the Barbary Corsairs entirely. The threat was finally subdued by the French conquest of Algeria in 1830. HMS Resolution took part in the unsuccessful attack on the Dutch Smyrna convoy, which resulted in the Third Dutch War. The Third Anglo-Dutch War the 27th of March 1672 to the 19th of February 1674, was a naval conflict between the Dutch Republic and England, in alliance with France. In the 1670 Secret Treaty of Dover, Charles II of England agreed to support an attack by Louis XIV of France on the Dutch Republic. By doing so, Louis hoped to gain control of the Spanish Netherlands, while Charles sought to restore the damage to his prestige caused by the 1667 raid on the Medway. Under the treaty, Charles also received secret payments which he hoped would make him financially independent of the English Parliament. The French offensive in May and June 1672 quickly overran most of the Republic, with the exception of the core province of Holland, where they were halted by water defences. In early June, the Anglo-French fleet was badly damaged by the Dutch under Michael de Ruyter at the Battle of Solby, ensuring they retained control of vital trade routes. In late June, Johan de Witt resigned as Grand Pensionary, and Charles' nephew William III of Orange was appointed stateholder. Charles tried to persuade him to make peace, but William refused, he knew the alliance with France was unpopular in England, while fear of French success brought support from Emperor Leopold and Spain. By the end of 1672, the Dutch had regained much of the territory lost in May, and with hopes of a quick victory gone, Parliament refused to provide Charles with further funding for a war which the majority opposed. From June to July 1673, the Dutch and Anglo-French fleets fought three separate battles, although largely inconclusive, they ended any prospect of the Republic being conquered. Instead, Louis focused on taking the Spanish Netherlands, an objective as harmful to English interests as it was to Dutch. Domestic opposition forced Charles to agree to the Second Peace of Westminster in February 1674. HMS Resolution was later girdled, which increased her breadth slightly, and underwent a rebuilding in 1698, although this limited reconstruction did not involve taking her hull to pieces. By 1685, Resolution was only armed with 68 guns. 
She was relaunched after a rebuild at Chatham Dockyard on 30 April 1698, as a 70-gun ship once more. In the Great Storm of 1703 in Pevensey Bay, East Sussex, she hit the Owers Bank off Little Hampton before the crew could even get up sail, then blown across the Solent, limping on a round beachy head. With the ship seriously flooded, her captain, Thomas Lell, tried unsuccessfully to beach her in Pevensey Bay, but the crew had to abandon ship, and all made it ashore. In April 2005, a well-preserved wreck believed to be hers was discovered by three divers. It was only when a 12-feet anchor appeared that Paul Stratford, Martin Wiltshire, and Steve Pace then found dozens of cast-iron cannon around a timber hull. The discovery was kept secret whilst a preliminary survey by Wessex Archaeology was carried out at the site and whilst discussions were carried out as to how best to protect it. This found at least 45 large cannon, along with a ballast mound surrounded by wooden ribs and planking protruding from a seabed of sand and silt. The site was then in May 2006 made public and given official protection under the Protection of Rex Act 1973 banning unauthorized diving within 100 meters. The wreck is a protected wreck managed by Historic England. Thanks for watching.